Imagine this. You're sitting in front of the TV and you're bored as hell. Well, guess what? You could be making shingles right now. And that's what I'm going to show you today on episode two of Zane Morgan Crafts. Let's get into it. Alrighty, folks, so we're just gonna need some scissors and just some cardboard. So cereal box, right now it's a mac and cheese box, doesn't matter, you just want that cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little piece here. Uh, you can always break it down as much as you want, but this is a good trial piece just to show you. So what I'm gonna do is straighten this out a little bit. Snip, snip, snip. And yeah. Now you're just gonna cut off the width that you want your shingles to be. You wanna make them pretty small. I mean, it's fantasy, so do whatever you want. Uh, the smaller it is, the more you're gonna have to cut, but the smaller, the better. So I'm just gonna cut it here. All right, yep, and that's pretty straightforward. So next what you're gonna do is decide what type of shingle you want. I'm gonna start with a scalloped. So all I'm gonna do for that is cut little 45 degree angles on the corners, okay, like that. And then I'm going to cut it to the length that I want the shingle to be. And you're gonna repeat that. So you're just gonna keep going. There are actually some stamps, I believe from Green Stuff World that have scalloped edges on them and you could definitely use that, but I don't have that. So I'm showing how you can do it with just simple scissors. Uh, if you don't want to do the scallop, you just want regular shingles, just cut off a, a little rectangle. It's really that simple. They don't have to be the same shape. They don't have to be the same size because remember we're going for the homemade feel. And here I go again, making more of the scalloped edges. Okay. Fun stuff. So now I'm just gonna show you how I would go about making a strip of these. I tried this for a section of roof that I did. I didn't really like it. But all you do is cut out little triangles and then you're gonna cut down the middle of that triangle and that's gonna give you your scalloped edge. And then you don't cut all the way to the end of that. That way it stays connected. And there you go, you got your individual shingles. Now you could do this just for your shingles in general where you cut them all the way, or almost all the way to the end. And when you're done with that strip, you just go here and at the top, you can cut along it and there's all your shingles. This does create a little bit of a waist strip and I don't like waist strips, but it's just an idea. And for regular shingles, here you go, just cut a line. Pretty simple. I don't think it looks that good though. <laughs> so here's an example of a roof that I've made using my method. These are a little bit bigger shingles. This is an older piece. Um, but you can see how they're all different shapes and sizes. But it gives it that lived in, rustic, handmade kind of feel. And now I'm going to show you uh, a newer build using the scalloped edges and you know I just think it looks really nice I like the effect that it does and for the colors all I do is I use the cardboard back side of it not the shiny side and I just paint that with craft paint and use my normal washes and dry brushes so I'm giving you now an example of how to apply the shingles yep they are one by one so you take some hot glue and you make a little line and you just start applying the shingles one by one. The first edge, I like to start from the bottom and going up. That way you're laying, layering them properly. Um, and I let them hang at different lengths so it looks like, you know, they've settled a bit or they're not perfect. It's just my aesthetic that I like. You can definitely make them more uniform, but you line them up and then when you're ready for the next level you just apply the glue to the top again and now you're going to stagger them so you want that scalloped edge or the edge of your shingle to be in the middle of the shingle below it and you just repeat it's really that simple 
and hot glue kind of sucks because you get all the little strings coming off of it but it's the fastest way to do it now I'm gonna show you um, the strip ones this one's a lot faster you just lay down the strip and then you're gonna put the next strip over on it and again you're gonna stagger it so it looks proper and you can also use tacky glue regular PVA glue doesn't matter they just take longer if I can do this you most definitely can do this on your free time when you're sitting on the couch when you're bored when you're like I don't know what to make but I need things guess what make a whole bag of these save them for later you will thank yourself and be like oh wow I don't have to cut out these thousand things because I did them like a week ago yeah that's what I do I thank myself <laughs> so yeah if you like this video if you found it useful like comment subscribe thank you for watching bye